Hi guys, welcome back to Ethereal Orb. It's another um, Friday pour, which means it's a quick pour on a little canvas. Um, last week I asked for suggestions for a name for the Fridays, and I had lots of really, really good ones. Um, someone suggested Fast and Furious Friday, and I really liked that one. I thought that one was good. Um, Flippin Fluid Flippin' Friday. thought that one was pretty fun, too. My husband's a big IT crowd fan. We both like that show. If you haven't seen it, it's a British comedy. Um, and um, his Moss suggestion was uh, Mother Flippin' Fridays. And I said no <laughs> to that one. <laughs> but um, anyway, I ended up going with Chris Morin's suggestion, Funky Fluid Fridays. So Friday quick pours are going to be called um, Funky Fun, Funky Fluid Fridays. <laughs> it's really hard to say, but it, it, it's fun. So um, anyway, if you did not see last week's video real fast, um, Fridays are just going to be for small canvases, really quick pours, um, quick videos if I can stop talking. And I'm taking suggestions. I got lots of great suggestions too on what some people want to see. So we'll be have some plans for that um, in the next coming weeks. So if you have any suggestions, anything you want to see on Fridays, um, I figure these little canvases are great for experimenting, playing around with color, technique, um, whatever you guys want to see, and some things I want to try out. Um, these little canvases are perfect for that. So keep the ideas coming on what you guys want to see, and I will definitely um, include them in these Fridays. So to keep it fast, as I promised, um, here are the colors I have for today's pour. Um, I have two purples. One's a little darker. This one's a little bit more reddish, too. It has more red in it. Um, but the last time I did two two purples where one was a little bit deeper, it um, looked a little bit like a shadow running through the painting, and I really liked that. So we're going to try that again, see how it goes. Um, so this one is Anita's Dark Plum. This is Americana Black Plum. And then I have a um, Valspar. This was in their... Um, little things where they have the mist tints, I think they call them, uh, where pores mixed up. And as you can see, all this green from their colorant, from when they mixed it, was all over the can when I got it, and it made a mess when I was trying to open it. Um, but I can't tell you the color, but it's it's like a woo, robin's egg blue. If I can get it to focus, there we go. It's like a, this, forget the screen. It's kind of like a robin's egg blue is what I would call it. And then I went today to Hobby Lobby, and one of the things I needed was white. I am completely out of white. And the last two times I used um, this this one, I got some cracking. I think it's old. Um, so I didn't want to use that one, even though I like the color. But I got I picked up this Anita's White, which I've gotten before and used before. And I thought the color in the bottle looked a little bit odd, but, you know, the lighting in Hobby Lobby isn't great, so I just grabbed it, didn't think much of it. And it says right there, you can see, white. Same thing I have, right, oh, no, it is a different number, but they both just say white. Doo -doo. Is it focusing? White. Um... This doesn't say anything at all on it about being a pearl, other than I do see the numbers different, but this is a pearl white. And I didn't see that on the bottle, had no idea. But it's definitely, are you going to be able to see it in the camera? Probably not. It's definitely a pearl white, which is fine, but I don't want pearl white in every pour, so I'm going to have to go back and get some white. Um... Also, be aware of that if you happen to get the large bottles of Anita's. You might want to make sure you're not getting pearl if you don't want pearl. Okay, so I have more than enough paint mixed. Way too much paint mixed. Um, I went a little crazy on the blue. It came out of the, the container really fast. And everything is mixed with just paint and water with the exception of the blue. Um, it came out pretty thin and then I added a little water and added a little too much water and I wanted to thicken it up 
and instead of adding more paint because the paint was kind of thin I added Floetrol um, just a splash so everything else is just paint and water and I'm trying to think I really want to do a dirty pour so I think that's what I'm going to do um, with a sorry I should have my pour cup ready I apologize so much for fast okay I'm going to use this um, put a little blue in first I don't think I'm going to use all this blue like I said I have a ton a ton, a ton. I don't have any silicone in any of these. Like I said, it's just paint and water. And I made it a little bit thicker than I have in the past. Right when I was at the point where I want to add just a little bit more water, I stopped this time. Except the blue. The blue is kind of thin. Let's add the white. And just a little bit more blue. Not much. Just a little bit. There we go. I think that went clear to the bottom anyway. So just added more. There's the cup. And we will do a flip cup. Big cup for a little bit of paint, but what I had handy. One of the things I want to do while this is falling, um, I have a, so I'm looking around for, I have a, an old, um, it's like a three contain separated, it's a little round container separated into three parts from the baby department for like putting um, cereal or formula in and I'd like to file that down to where it's flat because it's not flat and do um, a pour with three separate um, dirty pores. I'm, I'm thinking it would just be muddy, but I want to give it a try. Okay, ready? Here we go. Boop. Oh, that's pretty. Now I'm wishing I would have put the blue down so I didn't have to tilt much. I hate tilting. Okay, but this is a small canvas, so we don't have to tilt too much. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do the corners in the blue. Because I don't want to lose too much paint. To make sure the corners get covered. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this. Um, so that if I hit a point and I really want to stop tilting, I can. Because it's looking pretty cool and I don't want to don't want to lose anything. Okay. I didn't put my gloves on. Try and keep it in the camera best I can. I've lost quite a bit of purple. Okay, I have heard people say, and I haven't used it a lot, that um, the blue, the house paint really takes over in a pour. And it kind of did. But I also had a lot of it, so, you know, who knows. The reason I would like a little bit more purple running through there, I'm going to add some with my stick just a little bit. And I might torch real quick, and then I'm going to call it done. The point of these quick pours. Just a little bit. And then a quick zhuzh. To get that incorporated, it's just kind of sitting on top. Okay, I don't like it when it sits on top. So, there we go. Okay, I'm going to do a quick torch and I'm going to call it done.
in just a second. It looks like canvas right there. Nope, that was just some of the pearl white. The pearl white is completely gone. I didn't have a lot of it. There's some cells popping up right there. I didn't have a lot of it in the mix, but um, it's just, it's just gone. So, quick torch. Oh, there's the white. And there's some more purple. Uh-oh. I just melted the plastic that it's sitting on. Okay, not good. Just a little bit there. Okay. Let's tilt just a little bit. See if we can't... There we go. I'm going to leave that. I'm going to call it good. Okay, guys. Here it is dry. It dried really well. It's a little shimmery where the pearl is. So I will varnish it this week and show you the varnished result at the beginning of next week's video. Um, give me a thumbs up and subscribe and click on the little bell if you want to be notified um, when I post my next video. And as always, guys, happy pouring!